Hi there, <clears throat> this is Mr Evans and in this video I'm going to look at the value of price elasticity demand. I said the last video would be the last one but actually I'm going to tackle these uh, two bits, the value of the concept of price and income elasticity demand in separate videos. So this looks at the value of uh, price elasticity of demand to decision makers in a business. So as you're all well aware by now, the price elasticity of demand measures the responsiveness of quantity demanded to a change in price and measures the strength of the relationship between changes in price and the changes in the quantity of product demanded. Um, so what's price elasticity of demand useful for? It helps the business to make pricing decisions. That's its most obvious function. If we change our price, how will consumers react? Will consumers be highly responsive to that and uh, alter their behaviour significantly? I.e. will they buy a lot more if they cut our prices? Or are consumers not that responsive? If we raise our prices, will consumers continue to buy our product regardless of that fact? Um, so, yeah, that's really the same point. It helps them to uh, estimate what's going to happen demand for their product at different price levels. Um, this can help the business set sales targets. So if we're going to increase our price, uh, we estimate that we're going to sell this much, therefore this is our sales target. Um, and uh, reviewing the price elasticity in demand, if we identify that our price our our product is relatively price elastic. I've argued that it was much better for a business, in my opinion, to have price inelastic demand for its products. Um, the problem with having price elastic demand and trying to increase your revenue by cutting price is that, that that will often lead to, particularly in a competitive market, a price war where you cut your price but actually your consumer um, competitors respond by cutting their price as well and you don't actually make the increased revenue that you thought you were going to. So by understanding this concept of price elasticity of demand, businesses can then take action to increase the price inelasticity of their products through things like branding um, and differentiation, making their products unique so it becomes more price inelastic and the business then has more freedom to uh, set its own prices without worry or fear of what its competitors uh, will do in response. So the limitations of price elasticity of demand, um, I really should say probably the limitations of price elasticity of demand, really important in an exam that you fully use the saying because of price elasticity you could refer to price um, elasticity of supply, which is a different concept. Anyway, the limitation to price elasticity of demand. Number one, it can be difficult to uh, calculate accurately. Okay, we've got the formula, but um, uh, you know, where's the data come from that we're putting in there? Uh, is it based on past data? Is it based on survey data? Um, so to calculate price elasticity of demand accurately is really difficult. If we change our price, what's going to Future, while we're using past data, we're using survey data, it may not be that accurate. So, uh, if we're using the past sales data, oh, look what happened last year when we increased our price by 10%, our uh, demand for our product only fell by 8%. Let's use those figures today. Well, are those figures going to be accurate today? Um, we're assuming that all other factors remain the same if we are using past sales data without adjusting it, i.e. is the level of competition the same, have consumers' incomes changed in this period, what, what else might impact consumers' demand? There's lots of factors that impact consumers' demand, um, it's not just their, the price of the product, um, the, it's things like income levels, the population in an area, uh, the price of alternative goods. So there's all sorts of factors and price elasticity of demand ignores them. Um, they could be basing their, their decision on, on sales data. Oh, how many units of our product would you buy if it was um, 50p more expensive? Well, will consumers give accurate answers to that? 
And finally, um, price elasticity of demand may not consider the reaction of rivals. Um, so again, if we're cutting our price, assuming that that's going to increase our revenue because consumers will respond positively to that and, and, and uh, buy more goods, well, we're assuming that our competitors aren't going to respond to that by doing likewise, um, which may mean uh, that our assumptions about our, that our sales are inaccurate. So, price elasticity of demand, useful model for a business to use, but because of the difficulties calculating it, um, it should be used with a certain level of caution. These are all things that you could mention in an exam when um, uh, you're given a price elasticity of demand figure and expected to use that. Feel free to question it, it's a good way to get evaluation marks.